Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another Know How for ServiceNow. This time you're going to learn how to allow end users to bloat files to a Windows server throughout server requests using Integration Hub and PowerShell. What you're going to need is a catalog item form to submit the request. Then we need to get the base64 stream representation of the attachment file. This is encoding. Then we need to send this base64 string to a PowerShell script to be run in the mid server. Finally, this PowerShell script will create the target file in the specific location. This would be the coding. This is my mid-server configuration. I have a Windows Server 2012 R2 virtual machine with a mid-server 02 running. And ServiceNow will take the file, will process it, and obtain the base64 string representation. And it will be sent to the PowerShell script as a base64 string, including the target file name, which contains the location path and the file name. On the Windows Server side, at the Tools folder, I will end up having the file that's been transmitted from the cloud to the mid-server virtual machine. Now you can see on the left side the upload file to Windows Server catalog item form and on the right hand side you see the Windows Server machine. I'm going to pick the very first sample zip file that I want to send to the mid server and I have to input the pad where I want to upload the file. Gonna hit order now. The requested item has been created and now behind the scenes the flow is going to run changing the state to work in progress. If I scroll down you will see starting to upload file sample zip to the mid server and now it has been successfully loaded. As you can see on the Windows server the zip file has arrived and is located in the specific location that I have mentioned on the form at the tools folder. Now I'm going to run another example, but this time using a bigger file. 8 megabytes in size for this zip file. So I'm going to grab this one and I'll start typing the location where I want this file in the server. Once it has completed uploading in the form, I'm going to click in order now. The request item is created. And now just waiting for the flow to run. As you can see, the state has changed to work in progress. And also a comment has been added for the end user to know that the file is being uploaded to the mid server. We'll have to wait until the file gets completely uploaded on the mid server. We can see that the file is now located in the tools folder because the PowerShell script just created the entire zip file out of the base64 string. Now we're just awaiting for the flow to complete all the process behind the scenes. Now the flow designer has closed complete the requested item, updated the state of the requested item, and also it has entered a new comment that the file has been loaded successfully. And if we can see the state of the requested item is closed complete. So you can totally automate the upload of a file into the Windows server or the mid server. And we can double check that is totally working the file that we have transferred to the mid server. So I can unzip the file and I can see that I can open the file as well.
Now let's take a quick look at the catalog item. It has only two variables. One is the target file and the target folder path. Notice that the target file is a type of attachment. And also make notice that on the process engine, I've selected the upload file to Windows Flow that I have created. If I take a look at the Flow Designer, first let's take a look on the action, which is to send the file to the Windows Server. As inputs, is going to ask for the target folder pad and the attachment sysid of that file that has been loaded on the catalog item form by the end user. There is one script step that it will take those two inputs for the attachment sysid and the folder pad and it will make a query on the sysattachment table to obtain the file then is going to create an input stream using Glide Sys attachment input stream with the sysid of that attachment and it will obtain the base64 encoding using Glide Base64 encode function. Finally, it will concatenate the folder pad with the file name. These two parameters are going to be outputs as configured on the output variable section. For the file base64 encoded, this is going to be the string representation of the file and the file pad which contains the pad and the file name for the target location. Then we have a PowerShell script that it uses a connection alias. The connection alias is orchestration, but in order to create the file using PowerShell in the mid server, we have to create this action upload file windows PowerShell script. This script will take two input variables. One is the base64 string that we just got in the previous script step, but also the target file name which contains the pad and the file name concatenated. So we need to go to the mid server script file and create a new file called action upload file windows ps1 where the parent is PowerShell and then we will write or just copy and paste the script function and the callout of that given function just passing the base64 string and the target file name which contains the location where we want to store this particular file. The PowerShell is very simple. It contains a convert string to binary function that receives two parameters. One is the encoded string and the second one is the file path. When we find that the encoded string length is greater or equal than one, then it will create from the base64 string a byte array and then it will write all those bytes into the file path. So when PowerShell runs, it is actually calling the line 19, which is convert string to array, passing the base64 string and the target file name. And PowerShell will create the file and all its content in the file system. Finally, by using an upload file to Windows Flow, it's going to trigger by the service catalog. And the first thing it will do is to add the additional comments with the specification of the file name that is being uploaded to the mid server. And also, it's going to change the state to work in progress. Immediately, it will call the action that we just created to send the file to the Windows server. The target folder path is going to be passed from the requested item variables target folder path variable. And the attachment sysid as well is going to be from the target file variable from the requested item. If we get an error message 
on the variable error message coming from the action send file to Windows. In other words, if the error message is not blank, that means we got some sort of error. And what we're going to do is to update the requested item with word notes containing the error message. And we're going to change the state of the requested item to close incomplete. Here you can add the logic necessary. Perhaps this would have to be assigned to service desk to investigate or upload the file manually when the automation fails. Otherwise, if we're not getting any error message, then we change the state to close complete and we add the additional comments that the file has been loaded successfully. The advantages of allowing the end users to load files to a Windows server or the mid server in this case are that you don't need for a secure FTP. You don't need to be connected in the enterprise network either. And just a simple end user with internet connection can share data required to be processed in the back end by a service. Perhaps some sales information, sales data, something that can easily be achieved using automation and integration hub in ServiceNow. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave your comments below.